Welcome back to another Cinema 4D tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, I wanted to show you um, some techniques to uh, get you started in making some animated machinery. Um, you know, so basically, I've just created a, uh, a simple animation here with just some cog wheels that I've extruded um, that are just interacting with one another and kind of creating this uh, this machine part look and uh, this will be a good way to get you started in uh, understanding how this works and then how you can expand this to make a much more complex piece of machinery work um, but this is all driven by the motor um, and connectors which I've showed tutorials in the past um, on how you can use a use the same concept to make a car drive car wheels um, move a vehicle through your scene but this is going to center more around uh, just just machinery so let's get started um, I'm going to create a new project so you can see how this works from, from the start so the first thing I'm going to do is come in here and make a floor and we're going to go ahead and make this a uh, rigid body so with the floor when you apply a rigid body to it it's not going to fall um, whereas if I took a, a cube and added a uh, rigid body to it this item would fall with mass um, and so we need basically our ground floor. That's where we're going to attach things to. Um, the next thing, um, you know, just the easiest way to kind of visualize a piece of machinery is just to grab this cog wheel and we're going to drag this up. And this is just, you know, essentially something that you'd see driving gears with a gear shaft. Uh, so we're going to we're going to start with that, and then we're going to go ahead and just extrude it. So I'm going to hold down Alt. And I'm going to go to extrude, and now I have an extruded cog wheel that I'm immediately going to make editable. And I'm just going to get rid of everything in that hierarchy and just make it one object. I'm then going to duplicate it out on the same plane. So then I'm going to go ahead and create a cylinder that I'll put on my Z axis. And I'll make it a child of the cogwheel here. And then I'm going to, with the cylinder selected, center it to its parent. So that'll stick it right in the center there. Let's lower the rotation segments to something like five. So now we'll actually be able to see it twist as it rotates. Let's just kind of extend this out until we've got it um, right in the center of both of our cogwheels here. And so we'll go something like just something like this to start. Okay, um, cool. So once I have that connected, everything's that's what I'm going to use here for my gear. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to uh, make everything editable, select all the children, and then I'm going to connect the objects and delete. And then I'm just going to duplicate this out a couple of times and just line it up so that these gears fit together and then so we can basically see this uh, animate okay so next thing we got to do is on the we got to go into simulation dynamics connector and each one of these is going to need a connector so i'm going to do the same thing i did before where i put it as a child of the extrusion and center it to the parent. Oops. And now I've got it connected directly in the center. And I'm going to do the same thing, bring it up and put it into all of my uh, my meshes here. And uh, there's different ways to do this. Like we don't, we could have just done it just for one of the cog wheels because now that these are all connected, it, it would it would rotate. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and just do it this way. Um, so let's go mesh center to parent, and one more time uh, mesh center to parent. So I have all these connectors now directly in the center, and I now need them to interact with the cog wheel or the gear that I have it attached to. So for object A, we're going to make this the floor. And for object B, we're going to make this the cogwheel. And we're just going to do this for each of these. So we're just 
going through object A is the floor, object B is the extrusion. All right, so now we've got that done. Nothing's gonna happen yet. Um, and you're gonna get a little red air there. Now we need to take all of our extruders and we need to simulate a uh, rigid body. And we're gonna make these all moving meshes. And still, as we click play, now we have nothing happening. Um, we do have slight movement, but that's just because rigid body, the way it works, is it wants to move things away from one another. But to really drive this, we are now going to need to simulate a motor. And we, and we really only need to attach a motor to one of these gears, um, and, and that's gonna make them all move. So for this, I will uh, do the same thing. I will attach it to the floor. And I'm just gonna pick the first one which is just a regular extrude here. I, I, I would name these better. Um, and now if I click play, I'm just gonna start with a very low torque. I should get all of my gears rotating. As I extend this out, um, you'll notice that it's just going to ramp up and just continue rotating. Um, everything is rotating together. You can even see my cylinders because I chose lower rotation segments. These are all rotating, and uh, you know, really looks like something that you could see, um, you know, kind of inside of a piece of machinery. Um, so yeah, so this this might be something that's really helpful for you. Um, I find it helpful. Uh, I get a lot of projects where um, I'm asked to prototype equipment or take an existing piece of equipment and turn it into a 3D model for a animation or for um, even virtual reality training. So. Um, anyway, I just found this to be an interesting way to um, animate and create machinery inside of Cinema 4D. Uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tutorials like this.